Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. The popular comedian Princess Babadisha has been in a major saga, which the court case is still ongoing. And it has been previously reported that Babadisha and Princess got really caused when they both had marital problems. At the same time, this was what Babadisha revealed to Yomi Fabi when he visited him in prison. And now Princess Comedian's ex-husband, Shola Jeremiah, spills on her intimate relationship with Baba Jesha. Shola, Jeremiah and Princess got married about 8 years ago and the marriage barely lasted for 6 months before it sadly hit the rocks. In a recent chat with City People, Adi Shola Jeremiah revealed that he had been receiving a lot of insults via the phone and through comment sections on social media over the ongoing rape saga. Crying out, Jeremiah said that ever since the issue between Princess and Baba Jesha went viral for the past one week, lots of people have been calling me that they saw my interview on the internet. Initially, I was confused because I never granted any interview in regards to the saga. So I had to beg someone to send me the link so I can go through the interview myself. After seeing it, I discovered it was an interview I granted two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And I saw different comments on the blogs in regards to that interview. Some even said I was trying to use Princess and Baba Jesha issue to get popular. I'm a very busy person. And I don't have time for all the drama on social media. The interview was done two years ago. And I don't understand why bloggers dug it out. I started talking about it again. Because the interview has something to do with princess. Honestly, it is only God's fame I need now. Not fame from any man. Secondly, I don't desire this kind of fame that is connected to scandal. I don't pray to use the issue that is going on now to get any stupid fame. That is not my desire fame in life. Whatever had happened is such a big shame. So I don't want to be associated with it. If people are wise enough to even go through that interview I granted two years ago, they will know that it doesn't have anything to do with the scandal on ground. I can't attach myself to the scandal on ground. God forbid. There was no issue between Princess and Babadesh and when I granted the interview, I was about to release my movie before I granted that interview. So linking it with what is happening now is very wrong. I didn't tell anybody to put it on the internet. I don't know anything about it. So people should stop attaching me with the crisis on ground. I don't have any connection with the issue on ground now. So people should get that straight into their brain. It is not a recent interview. So they should stop saying I'm looking for opportunity to get famous. I don't know what is going on between Babajesh and Princess. And I don't want to know at all. I also can't tell you anything that is happening between Princess and Babajesh because it's been 8 years already and Princess and I parted ways. I don't know anything and moreover it's even none of my business. I don't even want to go. Whatever is going on between both of them is their business and they should face it. There is nothing I want to say about it. Though I know they are friends. But I don't know the type of relationship they were keeping before this issue came up. And ever since I left Princess, I don't know what is happening in her life because it is none of my business. Whatever is happening between them is best known to them. So let the court look into the case so everybody can see the outcome. That is all I have to say. I don't have any relationship with Princess. When the divorce process was going on in court, I was not in Nigeria. I was transferred to Benin Republic for my official work. I only visit Nigeria by weekends. And when they gave the final judgment, I went there to get all the papers and clearance that I needed. Ever since it has been eight years now, I've never seen her. I don't have any relationship with her. I don't even think I will ever have any relationship with her. We have both moved on. She's doing good and I'm also doing good. I don't know if she has anything against me. That is best known to her. But for me, I don't have anything against her. May God bless every one of us. I don't need to reach out for anything. When the going was good between her and Baba Jesha, she wasn't calling my name. So why is she calling my name now that they are having issues? I'm not sure it is right for her to mention my name as well. And to all the people that called me all manners of name when they saw the interview, some even called me talkative, that I talked too much in the interview, that I granted a few years ago. I'm sure there will be mothers among you. So for mothers, I pray that their sons will marry a wife like princess. Then for men or guys who were writing negative comments about the interview, I pray they will marry a wife like princess. I pray every one of them will have the type of experience I had. Then they will understand me better and feel my pain. If they feel I'm not supposed to say those things, I was just trying to tarnish her image. I said exactly what happened between us. Nothing extra was attracted to it. I pray those condemning me will have that type of marriage or experience in life. That is my prayer for them. This is a place anybody and everybody can say whatever they like. Now, so I won't blame them. It is princess that cost everything. I've been in the industry for over 20 years and I make my money from every project I do. That is good enough for me. I don't need any unnecessary fame, especially the one associated with scandal. Why would anybody conclude that interview was a recent one and I did it for fame? Princess knows 
all I said in the interview two years ago was actually what happened in the marriage that led to the breakup. So they are free. Let them keep talking. So what exactly did Princess say concerning him in the interview? He said that she mentioned my name when she was accused of having an affair with Wabajesha. Then she was like, when she met me, she met me through one of her friends. And that she's not a wayward person. Also that we didn't date before getting married. So that is just to say she's an indoor person. I don't have anything with Wabajesha. And she was like, Adishala, you know, except you don't want to say the truth. And she said all this amidst tears. You know I'm not a bad person. I'm not a wayward person. Except you don't want to say the truth. So this is what Princess Comedian's husband had to say about the relationship between Princess and Baba Ijesha. Meanwhile, a Yoruba actor had come out to say that Princess and Baba Ijesha had been close even before they got married. And the name of this um, actor is also Yoruba. He's Sekuru. He's known as Sekuru. But his real name is Abimbola Olasumbo. He says that he lives on the same street with Princess and that everyone on the street knew her with Baba Jesha even before they got married. He also alleged that Princess played a very vital role in Baba Jesha's life by sending him to school, sending him to London, also helping him with his studies, sending him to the university, and also getting him a private teacher. So according to this actor, they were really close. Unlike what Princess said in the video, where she said that he only came to her house once, which was the time that he defiled the girl when she was seven years old. And then he has indulged in her ever since then. So she tricked him to come to the house this time around when the girl is already 14 years old. And Princess also explaining the events that led to the rape. She said that the teenager was among the six children, three boys and girls, that were put in her case some years ago after she had some challenge in her marriage which resulted in the death of her own baby. She explained that the parents of the children had done that out of compassion so she would not feel lonely. The princess said while she was taking care of the children, Baba Jesha had approached her for help as he was also battling some difficulties at that time. And she said that he had visited the house at a point to seek for help and the princess defiled this girl who was 7 years old at that time and the comedian said that she was not aware of the development when it happened but she noticed something was wrong with the girl as she started performing poorly in school. And she explained that about 10 years later, the girl eventually revealed what transpired after several pleas. Bridget said she thereafter invited Baba Jesha to her house to confront him with what the girl told her by pretending that she needed his service for a movie. The entertainer said that she had installed close circuit camera television CCTV in the house. Upon his arrival, she had pretended to be going out, thereby leaving him and the 14 year old girl alone. The princess said that she had invited the police after the actor allegedly attempted to molest the girl again. The entertainer said that when she confronted him, he allegedly confessed to committing the act while blaming it on the devil. She, however, dismissed the claims that the movie star defiled the minor for seven good years, noting that it only happened twice before the one resulting in his eventual arrest. So we have come to the end of this episode where Princess Comedian's ex-husband Shola Jeremiah spills on our relationship with Baba Ijesha. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned some new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.